my god. Hi, my name is Haley and I am the author of HaleyWithAFlare.com. I am a travel blogger that specializes in land, cruise, and Disney travel. And I also dabble in lifestyle posts like plus size fashion and other family posts. Thanks so much for joining today. Hi everybody, it's Haley with HaleyWithAFlare.com. Finally getting out some of this Paris coverage. There's going to be three Paris videos in total. These are going to be food reviews. If you are looking for other Paris videos like 101, what happens if you get sick, as well as the best photo spots, you need to check out my blog, which is down there in the details, haleyoftheflare.com. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell to make sure that you are getting the latest and greatest from me. <laughs> and any questions you have, you can always put in the comments as well. So this video, we're going to be talking about the best bakeries in Paris. So this could be croissants, this could be pastries, this could be those beautiful sandwiches with ham and butter on them. So stay tuned. We've got a bunch of options for you since we were in Paris just over a week. So let's go. All right. Hello. Hello. So this is day one for us. As you heard before, this is going to be a compilation photo. So we're going to probably tell you by the end of this video, which bakery is our favorite for like croissants, breads and stuff like this so um show you first up is oh, i'm gonna butcher this i think it's like tuevu dupont we'll we'll figure out when we get a little closer let's get a photo in front of this place clearly that's not happening this time but it's tuevu dupont there i sound much better <laughs> All right, so we walked in there and neither of us wanted a croissant because they had all this other delicious stuff. So first up, we're gonna try this croque monsieur with ham or jamon. Ready, Jeff? All right, go for it. <laughs> How would you describe that? I like an inside out toasted cheese. <laughs> keeping it attractive over here. <laughs> mm. yep. That's like comfort food. <laughs> it's really good. So you could get this with just cheese though too if you're not into hammer like that. But it's delicious. Next up we have the classic ham and cheese baguette with butter. Alright Jeff will you do the honors? Oh you're gonna break it? Mm -hmm. Oh thanks man. <laughs> Would you eat it again? We still need to go to that one place where you can pick your ham. Oh my god, you guys. Amazing. Keeping up with the attractive shots here. <laughs> mm. It's just simple. It's the simple things. Bread, meat, and cheese. You cannot go wrong. Alright, so we have a raspberry crumb tart and then a citron. I see you. Lime zest, so it could be a lemon lime or just lime, not sure. Which would you like to take a bite of first, Jeff? <laughs> I don't hear any words from you. <laughs> what? It's slightly better. Well, raspberries are kind of tart, though. Tart. But it's I have a feeling this is how all these videos are going to look. Mm. <laughs> it's fresh raspberries, first yeah. off. I need a moment with that. I'll be right back. So the last on our trail is the citron tart, tartlet. It looks good. I kind of got it because it looked like key lime pie. Oh. <laughs> it tastes like key lime pie. It's really good. Mm. If you had to only get one again, which the one would it be? Is buttery. If you had to pick one, which one would it be? I don't know. I have a love for raspberries, so. <laughs> it could be the raspberry one, but this is. Money. Mm -hmm. 
the Cardi B money. Jeff decided to graciously eat up his half of the tart so we can be civil about this. Mmm, <laughs> that curd. Money. Oh my god. I told you. You guys. You need to go here. Just, just come here. Please. So in review. Two or two pond. Fantastic. I give it a five out of five. Well, I will start probably with five out of five. we'll start with five out of five. Um, I would highly eat here again. Um, just some tips: make sure you check their hours for when they're open. They are open, I think, till seven thirty tonight. But any place in Paris, you should always look and see when they're open. They do take credit card, but not American Express. And what we got here today with the two sandwiches and the two pastries was about eighteen euros. So I didn't think that was bad for lunch. Nine bucks a piece, nine euros. Part of me a piece. So <coughs> highly recommend. So here they even give you cheese and see which one you want. Cheese, just free cheese. I mean, you pay for it, but so good. All right, so we're here at Yum Yum. Yum Yum. I almost said, said Yum Yum because how they say Yum Yum is Yum Yum. And I got the famous uh, Fashu Galette, which is a savory crepe that I've seen like all over YouTube. <laughs> and then Jeff got one of the press sandwiches, so. It's a really graceful bite. <laughs> That's all right, I'm waiting for mine to go all over my shirt. How was that? What did you get on yours? For you, cheese, mushrooms, onions, lettuce, tomato, avocado, mm. and then I believe they put olive oil, salt, pepper, and then they grill it. Mm. My salad and a crepe with prosciutto and cheese. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> this is a two. Thanks. This is a two-handed go up. <laughs> it's so good. So Jeffrey, what was your final thoughts on Yum Yum? Delicious. <laughs> One of the best sandwiches I've probably ever had. Mm. All these streets are so pretty. First croissant. We'll see how it compares to the one you had yesterday. That we didn't film because it wasn't from a bakery. We just quickly grabbed croissants and I got a coffee. Buttery, flaky. Amazing. How's it compared to the one that we got in the little shop? Oh, it's better. Better? Mmm. And I'm going to bring you the pan of chocolate. You get the buttery crunch on the top and then just dark chocolate. Very good. Story of your life. Okay, and there's like a huge queue outside to get in here. Alright. So which one do you want to do first? <laughs> the escargot. Alright. This is why we came here. Alright, Jeffrey. Was it worth it? Mm, Very good. Mm. Mm, that's really good. Really, really good. Mm. I was hoping you would get that one. Is it berries? I'm assuming. Mm. 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 So we all get our one bag. So no one has this in the middle. Because mm. no one has this in the middle. Mm. The berries taste so fresh in that. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> it's going to be hard to beat that for me. So you just bought those and you don't know what they are? I don't know what any of this is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm. It's like a flaky Danish, flaky cheese Danish. 
And of course, the pan of chocolate. Yeah. Jeffrey, don't you do the honors? Yeah. Classy, as always. <laughs> Which one was better? The one we had at Angelina's or this one? Apparently up to me. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna have to give it to this one. I think it's this one. The line now goes over to here. Oh, really? Pan of chocolate. Buttery. The chocolate. Semi sweet. Kind of hard. Probably not as good as some other ones we've had. Okay. But it's good. The chocolate's hard. Bottoms up, bottoms up. <laughs> all right like i wouldn't be disappointed eating that but there's definitely better out there next up is le croissant no it's not flaky yeah it's not like they're flaky but like they're almost like you can peel apart the layers in the other ones this is definitely more I think airy. Mm -hmm. hmm. It's not as like butter forward as the others were. It tastes like something you would get in the US. There's like a thick layer of chocolate mm -hmm. in this. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I like. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. That was so attractive. That's good. Nice crunch on the pastry. The chocolate's good. Now this is a this is a big deal right here. We're talking to Claire, because I literally think that two what is it two a two a Dupont, two a two a Dupont is the best eclair. Big shoes to fill. They didn't have the chocolate ones. That's all they had. So is that filled with a raspberry cream? I think so. Couldn't understand her. She only spoke French and I had no idea. I just said yes. Don't you wish you tried a little harder before we came here? It looks like it's vanilla filled. It's really good. How does it rate compared to the other one we had? We'd have to get something like this from them. Because the chocolate eclair is just different. Well, the consistency, though. Oh, no, because it's, it's good. The flavor's very good, too. It's got a little tartness, like... I'll be the judge of that. Or to watch you try to eat this. Um, so these are profiteroles on top of a chocolate tart. Not a clue how I'm going to eat this. No. It's all right, but the tarts at the other place, they're just so buttery and amazing. It doesn't <laughs> compare. Really good. So Jeff actually got a quiche. This is the first quiche of the trip. This is what happens when I send Jeff to the store unaccompanied. Really Story of my life. Savage and just eat it because I didn't get it somewhere. 
So savage. Can't compare it to anything else if you haven't had a quiche yet, but it's really good, buttery and flaky. It's good. Mm. Mm. Really buttery. I actually think this might be the best one. Mm. Then again, we might be biased. I just feel like I'm chancing fate over here with this white shirt. <laughs> so, that's like a traditional fruit tart. With that cream, like pudding consistency on the bottom, the fresh berries. I would have to say my favorite is the crumb one, though, because I like that tart berry flavor. My opinion. So, quiche train. Can you go for this? So attractive, Jeff. <laughs> well, so good. how does it compare to your one from yesterday? Miles above. It's buttery, flaky. Just. I'm not getting any of that, am I? Phenomenal. You know, you need to try it. <laughs> Oh my god, he's actually gonna let me try it. Mm. That is divine. Mm -hmm. That is one of the best quiches. Like, their crust at this place. It's their crust. Mm -hmm. On everything. It's blackberry time. And then we gradually eat these as, <laughs> as we go. I promise. We haven't been in, we haven't been to this one in a couple of days. We like to keep snacks in our room. Cause snacks. Mm. Just like the raspberry one, but fresh blackberries. Mm. Very classy as always, Jeff. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's how Jeff feels. Second bite. <laughs> pretty. <clears throat> so pretty. You want the dog or it's okay? I'm back. That works. Please, see who play. <laughs> Alright, Jeff finally got his ham sandwich. Yeah. It's not fancy. What's this? Meat, bread, and butter. It doesn't get much better. And like high, high quality meat. Mm. Is this, this is the cured. So we got a cooked and a cured. You get your choice. Mm. This is so good, guys. The bread. The meat that cured me is out of this world. I mean, still have to try the cooked one, but. Mm. All right, Jeffrey, now time for the cooked one. This is a truffle ham. Mm, so good. Amazing. So, if you had to pick the cooked ham or the cured ham, which would it be? That one. Wow. Wait, do you taste it? Chef, that was pretty bold. Wait till you taste it. I don't know. I think for me, it'd be mood dependent, though. Like the cooked ham feels a little fuller. That's just good. Oh my god, watching all this old content just makes me miss Paris. So keep in mind, these bakeries are towards the Republic as well as the Marais District, which is where I stayed. I will say that they probably are some of the best because I know I researched before I went and looked at other YouTubers and bloggers to kind of get tips and walked around on my own. So these places are pretty legit. My favorite by far was Tua Tua de Pan, which was right around the corner from my hotel in the Republic. Um, best pastries, just best everything overall. However, the Du Ace IDs, 
the fabrication one um, with the escargot roll. That was, oh my, that was, I can't even call it a close second. Like it was just, it was very traditional flaky French pastry. So, I mean, it was kind of a little different than what we were getting at Tua Tua de Pond, but both equally amazing. Highly re recommend both of those. And please, if you are gonna go to Paris, pick character you need to go to. It was amazing. You walk inside that shop and there is just all these different kinds of cured meats, all these different kinds of hams, the fresh bread, but they're only open on Thursdays and Fridays. So keep that in mind when you're planning your trip, but please, I highly recommend those three places, especially above anything else. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Again, don't forget to subscribe and please check out my Patreon and my blog down in the description below. Until next time, au revoir.